bum diggy 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 bum diggy bum. Oh yes, it's a beautifully converted Victorian townhouse. Ideally located in a quiet road near to the local shops and transport. Um, this one's two bedrooms and a kitchen diner. Fully fitted in excellent decorative order. Lots of storage space, um, all mod cons, and it's going at uh, £320 a week. I settled in not too badly and kept myself to myself. Sometimes, of course, I thought about the guys, but mainly I didn't miss them at all. After all, this was Boomtown, where any fool could make cash from chaos and plenty did. Tell you what I've got. I've got a beautifully converted Victorian townhouse. I quite enjoyed the sound of it all. Profit, loss, margins, takeovers, lending, letting, subletting, subdividing, cheating, scamming, fragmenting, breaking away. Who's got the keys to Talgarth Road? There was no such thing as society, and even if there was, I most certainly had nothing to do with it. For the first time in my adult life, I was almost content. Dear Mark, I'm glad you find a job and somewhere to live. School is fine at the moment. I'm not pregnant, but thanks for asking. Your friend Sick Boy asked me last week if I would like to work for him, but I told him where to go. I met Spud, who sends his regards. Or at least I think that's what he said. No one has seen Tommy for ages. And finally, Francis Begbie has been on television a lot this week, as he is wanted by the police in connection with an armed robbery in a jeweler's in Kersorfin. Take care. Yours with love, Diane. Francis Begbie.